Okay, so once your video scribe has is complete, um, well, uh, the, what, the first thing that you'll want to do is add a logo to your video scribe. Um, and by doing and to do that, what you would simply do to a once your video scribe is complete, you would select this icon right over here, publish your scribe video. And before you publish, you have the ability to add a logo by selecting this plus add logo button right over here. And what you'll want to do is find a .png image that's um, with a transparent background if possible. A lot of logos I know have a white background, but if you can use a, a, a logo with a transparent background, that would be preferable only because sometimes these logos, well, the logo will appear at the bottom right hand corner of your scribe and sometimes logos with a white background could block content on your scribe so be mindful of that when adding a logo to your scribe okay okay another final touch um, again, we've mentioned this before, but it is post-production editing. Again, you have third-party post-production programs such as iMovie, Adobe Elements that you can use to, uh, to do any adjustments to your video scribes. For example, um, you, if you have content that you find that you need to remove from your video scribe and can easily just be cut out, you can do so using a post-production editing program. If you... Um, would like to speed things up, slow things down, to perfectly sync the narration, you can do so using a post-production editing program. Um, so be mindful that that is an option available to you and you aren't necessarily limited to only using the video scribe program to make these edits. Um, and then last but not least, once your video is complete, um, you'll want to share it with the world and um, you can use, uh, you can share your video using YouTube or Vimeo, um, which are pretty awesome tools or platforms for you to showcase your video scribes. And there's also UCSF Box, which is, um, which is um, a platform that you can use to upload your video and then send unique links to your team members, to um, whomever your target audience is for this video. Um, and you can also use UCSF Box to create an embed link and then create that vid and sorry, display that video on a website or in a newsletter. Um, so uh, be mindful that those are options that you have once your video is complete. That concludes our tutorial and tips and suggestions on using the VideoScribe platform. We thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.